innovate and drive change has never been greater. From sustainability to AI to finance, women hold the key to unlocking infinite horizons of opportunity. As the world undergoes rapid geo-economic transformation, decision makers at the pinnacle of financial leadership hold the power to reshape the future. Yet only 28% of global assets are managed by women, and women only occupy 22% of board positions in financial institutions. Women entrepreneurs are uniquely positioned to tackle the world's most pressing challenges, whether it's addressing climate change, conflicts, or food insecurity. They are leading with a vision for social impact. Four out of five women prioritize sustainability in their business decisions, a vital contribution to shaping a brighter tomorrow. But as we push toward a greener future, the gender gap persists. The energy sector has 76% fewer women than men. The renewable energy transition presents a monumental challenge and offers an extraordinary opportunity for women to take the lead. Welcome to the FII Horizon Summit, a global gathering of visionaries dedicated to one goal, catalyzing universal economic advancement by elevating women's leadership across industries, geographies, and sectors. As we gather to share strategies, inspire action, and break down barriers, we must ask ourselves, what lessons will today's female leaders pass on to the next generation? And how can women have the greatest impact on humanity right now? Welcome to the FII Horizon Summit. of the FII Institute, Mr. Richard Attias. Good evening, good afternoon, in fact. Hi, how are you? So thank you for being with us for this uh, important summit. I see many good friends here in the room. So your Royal Highness, distinguished guests, visionary leaders and champions of change. Uh, welcome to the Horizon Summit, the first edition of the Horizon Summit in Riyadh. Uh, a gathering dedicated to highlighting the limitless potential of women around the world. And if we can reduce the level of sound of the interpreters, it will be more convenient, guys. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Today, uh, we are not uh, here just to talk about change. We are here to ignite it. Sorry to insist, guys, but you really need to reduce the level of sound of the interpreter or to move a headset somewhere. This is when you play live. So it's one of the most important moments of the FI8 conference. This summit represents a commitment, one that recognizes the profound role of women in every corner of our societies, our industries, and our families. So as we stand here, we acknowledge that our global progress depends on ensuring that every woman has the opportunity to thrive, to lead, and to drive impact. So yes, we must acknowledge that the path has not been easy. Too many, too many barriers will still stand, and too many voices remain uh, unheard. So today we are here to break down those barriers, to lift those voices, and to envision a world where opportunity is boundless and equal for all. So Horizon is not just a summit, it is a movement. A movement toward inclusion, innovation, and unity. We believe that when women rise, millions and nations prosper. When women lead, societies transform. 
And when women's voice are amplified, our shared future becomes brighter and stronger. We believe in that. Today, we commit to working together across industries, borders, and beliefs to create a world where every woman and girl has the resources, the support, and the opportunities she needs to reach her highest potential. So I would like to thank all the amazing women here today who are an inspiration for us. They deserve a round of applause, please. And I would like also to thank men who are in the audience <laughs> for being here to support this call to action. And I'm so happy because the room is quite balanced. So let us begin this journey. Let us imagine a horizon that is not just for some, but for all. Together, we will pave the way forward, ensuring that horizon is not merely a vision, but a reality. So we're starting this moment by welcoming three women leaders who have the honor to call a personal dear friend and FIA Institute board member, Her Royal Highness Princess Rima, Saudi Ambassador to the United States of America, live from Washington, D.C. An esteemed FIA Institute strategic partner, President and CEO of Franklin Templeton, Jenny Johnson. And my lifelong business partner and wife, Cecilia Atias, the president of the Cecilia Atias Foundation for Women and former First Lady of France. For a conversation with a prominent philanthropist and a great business mind, founder and chairman of Vista Equity Partner, Robert Smith. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Uh, I know 